Hi there, welcome back to the channel, my name is Brahim and today we're going to read an article about National Express. So basically, National Express is like a coach slash bus travel service. Most people in the UK take it to go from one place to another place, long journeys or the quick trip from where they are to the airport. Um, most people use it for the airport though. National Express swings to 444 million dollars as COVID pandemic ends bus travel. So the fact, one, that you couldn't have the bus travel is bad, but also no one's going to the airport because the airports were closed. That essentially just killed their revenues. British transport company National Express swung to a pre-tax loss of 444 million or $620 million. Last year's coronavirus pandemic took its toll on the passenger numbers. The Birmingham-based firm saw an 80% fall in customers' numbers over the 12 months due to national lockdowns, which forced people to stay at home. To... The Birmingham-based firm saw an 80% fall in customer numbers over the 12 months due to national lockdowns, which forced people to stay at home to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Earnings also tumbled 64% across the period amid reduced demand for its bus and coach operations in the UK and in Spain its school buses in the United States, and its German rail contract. For the rest of the year, to the end of December 2020, National Express posted earnings before interest, tax depreciations, and amortization of £170 million, compared to with £510 million the year before. The company said it has reduced costs across the business, exited certain contracts, and accessed government schemes to ensure it emerges from the pandemic, leaner, fitter and financially stronger. In its trading update, National Express said, the situation we find ourselves in is not that we can ultimately control and the timing of full recovery remains uncertain as we are still subject to lockdown and regulate restrictions in every market we operate. It plans to move to a fully zero emission fleet in the UK with some 29 electric buses now running in the Mid West Midlands. Coventry is set to become the first electric bus city with significant funding secured for up to 170 electric vehicles over the next two to three years. Ignacio Garat, National Express Group Chief Executive said, as a business, we have an important role to play in modern society and I want us to continue to be at the forefront of the debate on climate change and the role we play in the social mobility. We have a strong and diverse international transport platform that has demonstrated its resilience in recent months. We have a clear set of priorities to ensure we will return to a group in a prudent and safe manner. We will be competing to win. The FTSE 250 group will not be paying a dividend as a result of a tough year. Jack Winchester, analyst of, Jack Winchester, analyst at Third Bridge, said, Until COVID put a roadblock in the way, National Express had been a reliable cash generator for several years. Now, two big questions loom over the company. Investors are wondering where passengers will start using our services again and be happy to sit in close proximity. The coach operator also faces a growing regulatory risk in Spain, government regulations set to make retaining higher margin bus contracts much more difficult. Our expert expects this to hurt the company's profitability over the medium term. So that's what the article says. What we've gathered, they've been profitable for many years. It's been a cash cow, been able to pay dividends in the past. But because of current, literally just because of COVID and this pandemic, them being forced to not operate and having issues, not just in the UK and other places as well. This has literally put a span in the work, so to speak. So, of course, their revenues went down. Of course, now they're struggling to pay for a dividend, so they just cut the dividend. It makes sense. They need to grow. They need to survive. Paying dividends would be stupid. So, National Express, they're looking at becoming an electric vehicle orientated in the Midlands, I believe it said. And that's actually a good move, you know, from going from carbon emissions to electric vehicles. So essentially it's a step in the right direction for the company and the business. 
But at the same time, there is a bit of a struggle. There's nothing wrong with the service. It's just will people use it and feel comfortable after this lockdown is fully over to be in close proximity with other people. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not subscribe? Also, leave a like. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. I'll see you next time.